folks, welcome to Every Effin Restaurant on Dominion Road. The Effin stands for fucking. And my name's Ben McGugan, and today's guest is you, dear listener. Yes, you. Uh, not in any real way, or any significant way at all. Basically what I'm trying to say is that there is no guest. I'm doing an experiment. Uh, listen, organising myself is difficult enough. I'm very, very dumb. But organising other comedians to be on the podcast is also very tricky because there's nothing in it for them other than a free meal and a chance to hang out with Ben Magoo, which is actually like, now that I say it, pretty fucking good deal. You know what I mean? Like, it's Ben Magoo we're talking about, okay? But regardless, I'm flying solo, and this is sort of an experiment <clears throat> uh, to see if I can do this, see if I can do a one-man podcast. I suppose it's like stand-up, sort of. But I haven't written anything. Anyway, I, I, let's hope this goes well. I, I'm on a mission, right? I'm on a mission. An angel came down from heaven and told me, Bimaku, that I had been put on this earth for one purpose. And that was to eat at every restaurant on Dominion Road. And so that's, that's my duty now. And I can't be waiting around for comics with all their different, you know, I've got a gig, I've got a baby, I'm dying, whatever. I don't care. I've got a job to do. An angel, or perhaps it was a devil in disguise. Hard to know. In these times, in this economy. Today I went to KFC Dominion Road. And, gosh, where do I begin? You go in, right? It's it's KFC. It's two stories. If you've never been, it's KFC. It's on Dominion Road. And you already know what it looks like. And isn't that sad? Don't you think that that's sad? Like, I can't, I can't describe the decor in a KFC. Don't you think that that's sad? That there is nothing imagined? Like, there's no character. Not even... You remember Cobb and Co? Like, cheap kitschy character is still character and this kfc has nothing there is a little bow tie thing but what's what's it called the thing that the colonel wears one of those things but it looks like it's black it's just like stenciled on the wall and it looks like a black belt from martial arts and i sort of it's sort of alarming to go like it's sort of you know, if you play up in this KFC, we'll kick your ass. We all know Kung Fu, and we'll kill you. As opposed to, like, a, a cheery old man who was a colonel who, you know, presumably fought in wars. Did the colonel kill? Did the colonel... Does the, How many lives did the colonel take? We don't really talk about that. Dear listeners, you may know... That my mission <clears throat> includes getting the most interesting thing on the menu. Now, there's not a lot of interesting stuff on the KFC menu. My usual go-to is usually a Zinger Tau Burger or maybe some Wicked Wings or something. Today, I went for what I thought was the most interesting thing, which was the popcorn chicken salad bowl combo. And... It's the touch screen. You do the touch screen. Touch screen. No, I didn't interact with... Well, I did actually. Gosh, I'll get into it. Real yarn to spin here. I... I touch screen, and then the thing buzzes at you. The, I got the number one, because I'm number one, Bimaku. And it buzzes at you when your order's ready. It buzzes at you to let you know that it's the number that you're picking up. And, or every, and all of the noises in the... The kitchen is just this, like, these sirens going off everywhere. And, uh, you know, they've got the, the most boring radio playing. Simply Red. Simply Red was playing. And uh, Simply Red just simply doesn't do it for me. I just, as I get older, I find my music taste getting closer and closer to my parents. I think my mum was into Simply Red, but I simply cannot get into Simply Red. Because I'm blue, okay? Not Dabba Dabba Dabba, not Eiffel 65, I'm blue. All rise. Right. Okay, and I will never be into Simply Red. the The animosity, I, the animosity between the Simply Redheads and the Blue Believers, is 
it would make it makes the Bloods and the Crips look like pussies. That I had a I I said pussy just now, and I don't have a good mic cover. I don't have any mic cover, so that I need a pop filter because I I slammed that word pussy just now. I slammed that pussy hard, and. It's not going to come out good. I'm going to do my best, dear listener, to fix it up in post, but I apologize. I need to sort my shit out. Something red's blaring blare away. This, the thing's vibrating at me. I get my, um, I get my uh, meal. It takes a while. There was a, a big order before me, and um, uh, they were uh, street preachers. There was about eight of them, and... Um, uh, they really liked this um, Jesus Christ fella. They kept talking about him, um, really into into him and his and this magic book that they've got. Um, and it sounds interesting, but um, so they had a big order. Uh, so the wait time wasn't really on the staff. I'm not going to snitch on staff ever. I don't think, like unless it's the manager. Of the unless the CEO of KFC is working behind the till, which he never does, the coward, huh? Why aren't why are they never on the front lines? You ever ask yourself that? Because I was a real nightmare in there, and the CEO <clears throat> would have had to deal with that. I was a real piece of shit in that KFC establishment. I get my order. I go upstairs because there's uh, one booth downstairs and uh, several booths upstairs for you to sit at and I'm on my way up and I, I look in the bag and there's no cutlery there's a salad bowl so I have to go down so this is the story that I was I told you about that I was going to tell earlier so if you've been on the edge of your seat you can relax now take a breath there was no cutlery in the bag so I had to go downstairs and get the get a fork which I feel like should come standard especially if you're eating in what you want me to eat the salad bowl with my hands I go up stairs again the uh, the KFC on Dominion Road looks out on Dominion Road in the park the park with the big boy I forget what the park is called but there's the big boy the statue the walking boy on Dominion Road if you haven't seen it you can look it up it's this big boy and it fills me with dread Every time I see that boy, I imagine it ambulating. I imagine the big boy come to life. And I know in my heart that if I saw a boy that big, I would attack. I know in my soul, I know, I know, I know, I've thought about this a lot. I would attack. I would get it. Okay? How I would attack that, that's, I'm not going to go into detail because that can get quite gruesome. But I feel like that's, my fight or flight instincts would kick in and I would, I would get the boy. I would hurt him. Hurt him bad, because I need to put him down quick. Cause we can't wait for this boy to get any bigger. Still growing. Terrifying. I sit down. I'm sitting next to the street preachers. And, uh, still talking about this Jesus guy. Apparently he did heaps. I uh, get into this bowl. I attack the chips first. Chips are fine. The chips are fine. Pretty good stand KFC chips. Sometimes they can be a bit floppy. These were pretty crunchy, pretty crispy. I got a Coke as well. Sipping the Coke. Time to get into the salad bowl. This thing was a fucking mess. Okay? This thing was a fucking... It was... It's popcorn chicken. Which I think is the strangest thing on the menu. It's the most interesting... Because I think it's unusual to make popcorn out of any animal. It's not the first thing that comes to mind. It's also not really popcorn. It's just round. Popcorn isn't round. It's gnarled and bizarre and funky, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucked up. Popcorn chicken is not popcorn chicken. It's no corn, as far as I'm aware. So, I just, I don't know. It's very much like, like the idea of, like, chicken skins assembled in a way that looks similar to popcorn and then fried. And then, like, it looks like the size and shape of a, of a, of a popcorn and... You crunch into it. That sounds very appealing to me. Whatever the fuck a popcorn chicken is that you get at KFC, that's just round chicken. Like, what is the difference between popcorn chicken and a chicken nugget? Is there any? Rounder? It's rounder? Chicken nugget is, like, more two-dimensional? I don't give a fuck. 
thing was a mess. I just ate it. I feel sick. This, so the, the bowl is popcorn chicken on the top, lettuce underneath, a little bit of onion, I think, and just doused in mayo. Just smothered in it. And I'm not being a snob here, all right? We've all done that where we've just covered shit. And so at KFC as well, like potato and gravy, you go nuts with it, right? You put a bit of chicken in there, but some chippies, whatever else, and you just go insane with this potato. You make a gloop. You make gruel out of that KFC. But this thing was covered. Like it was mayonnaise soup. Mayonnaise is an intense flavor. It was like soup. It was just covered in it. And, you know, I, I, I got through it. But, um, man, it was intense. It was full on. This, you know, and I, I've got this boy in my vision. I'm, I'm getting down to the soup, this mayonnaise soup. Well, the mayonnaise soup is getting into me, seeping into every pore. I'm listening in on these street preachers talking about Jesus Christ. And, um, and Simply Red's still blaring. They played two Simply Red songs back to back. It might have not been back to back. It might have been Simply Red, then something else, and then Simply Red again. But either way, Simply Red. I'm, I'm, I'm at KFC. Why is Simply Red here? It was an all, all out like assault on the senses, is what I'm saying. So that wasn't good. The Coke was Coke. And, I mean, you know, this is what it's all about, is that, um, is about finding different experiences and seeing what you like about them. And I feel, once I've fully recovered from this popcorn chicken salad bowl, I will feel stronger for it, for the experience. Like, I went through something. And, uh... I went to the toilet. Everyone shut up. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, Bimagoo's Lou Reviews. Went to the toilet. And you lock the door. And you could be anywhere. You could be on a plane. You could be in a boat. You could be on an elevator. There's got to be elevators that have toilets in them. There are big, there are tall buildings. It's going to take you a while to get to the top floor. You're going to poop in an elevator? I don't think so. You could be anywhere. It doesn't look like anything. I cannot, I don't know how I can describe it. It was a toilet. It was a plane, nothing there. And I'm not saying like that they should lean more into the imagery of the colonel necessarily. Like I don't think the toilet should resemble the antebellum south or anything. But some, give me some. I'm in KFC, man. I want some novelty. I want some catch. This is Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is, this isn't fucking... A hospital fucking put me in the hospital fucking popcorn chicken salad bowl covered in fucking mayonnaise yeah so that was the toilet um and that was about it that's about my experience at the kfc on dominion road so a shorter episode i went to the kfc for this experimentation episode partly because i wanted a cheaper meal because i don't know if i will put this out because i don't know if it's good but, um, you know, I've got to get this shit done. Because there are new restaurants coming up. There one, There's a new restaurant, one's just been replaced, and there's a new one coming up. So, like, I'll never get to the end of this line if I keep dilly-dallying and waiting on other people to come on my podcast. Because no one wants to come on. And every time I ask someone to be on a podcast, you know, they... They look sort of like, you know, like they don't want to be on a comedian's podcast. They're like they're affronted by the question, which can't be the case because they get to share a meal with Ben Magoo. And so that, and it's not embarrassing at all to have to ask, to beg people to be on a podcast. I actually, I really enjoy it. But um, alone or with a companion, I will get this shit done. And there's nothing you or anyone can do to stop me. Thank you for listening.